All right, I'm moving my infantry division, augmented by a battalion of orcs from Lord of the Rings. We flank the Tennessee Volunteers, and the North once again wins the Battle of Gettysburg. <laughs> Not so fast. Remember, the South still has two infantry divisions, plus Superman and Godzilla. <laughs> No, 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 orcs are magic. Superman is vulnerable to magic, not to mention you already lost Godzilla to the Illinois Cavalry and Hulk. Why don't you just have Robert E. Lee charge the line with Shiva and Ganesh? Are you guys ready to order? Hang on, honey. Shiva and Ganesh? The Hindu gods against the entire Union army? And orcs. I'll be back. Excuse me. Ganesh is the remover of obstacles and Shiva is the destroyer. When the smoke clears, Abraham Lincoln will be speaking Hindi and drinking mint juleps. All right, my boss says you have to either order or leave and never come back. What do you recommend for someone who worked up a man-sized appetite from a morning of weight training and cardio funk? A shower. I'll take the heart smart platter. All right, thank you. And Sheldon? We don't eat here. I don't know what's good. Well, it's all good. Statistically unlikely. <laughs> Just get a hamburger. You like hamburgers. I like the hamburgers where we usually have hamburgers. You can't make the assumption that I like the hamburgers here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Give my hamburger. All right, which one? The classic burger, the ranch house burger, the barbecue burger, or the Kobe burger? Can't we just go to Big Boy? They only have one burger, the Big Boy. Well, the barbecue burger's like the Big Boy. Excuse me, in a world that already includes a Big Boy, why would I settle for something like a Big Boy? Because you are not to act Big Boy. Fine, I'll have the barbecue burger. Make it two. Waitresses don't yell at you at Big Boy. Hey, Leonard. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, Leslie. Hey. I didn't know you ate here. We don't. This is a disturbing aberration. <laughs> Leslie, uh, this is Penny. She lives across the hall from Sheldon and me. And walks in quiet beauty like the night. Howard, I've asked you not to do that. <laughs> Leslie and I do research together at the university. Oh, wow, a girl scientist. Yep, come for the breasts, stay for the brains. <laughs> so I'm glad I ran into you. The physics department string quartet needs a new cellist. What happened to Elliot Wong? He switched over to high energy radiation research, had a little mishap, and now the other guys are uncomfortable sitting next to him. <laughs> so are you in? Yeah, sure, why not? Great, we rehearse on Tuesdays at your place. Why at my place? Yeah, the Department of Energy said our regular space is kind of a hot zone. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Leonard, I didn't know you played the cello. Yeah, my parents felt that naming me Leonard and putting me in advanced placement classes wasn't getting me beaten up enough. If you're into music, I happen to be a human beatbox. Really? <laughs> I'm actually not that into music. So hey, your friend's really cute. Anything going on with you two? Leslie? No. Oh. What, are you kidding? He asked her out once. It was an embarrassing failure. Thank you, Sheldon. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that supposed to be a secret? Oh, that's too bad. You guys would make a cute couple. Oh, dear. What's the matter? She didn't take my order. How could she take your order when you're too neurotic to talk to her? <laughs> Nevertheless, this will be reflected in her tip. 